Well, it's also time to do some spring cleaning in your makeup bag. Joining me this morning is Giselle Campbell from Elevate Aesthetics with the proper way to spring clean your makeup bag. So. I feel like this is something we all know we should do, but we don't do. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I have found makeup in my bag that I'm like, how long has this been in my yeah. bag? Because <laughs> sometimes you don't use it before the expiration date, which Absolutely. they have expiration dates. Yes. So give us the breakdown on that. Okay, so um, on the back of a product, you will see an icon just like this. Mm -hmm. And this icon here will tell you how long that product is good for okay. after you open it. So where you can find those products, um, it's going to be on the back of the box. Yes, I've seen that. Um, it'll be on the back of a bottle. Mm -hmm. um, it's very small print. You may yeah. miss it but this is the icon you're looking for okay. so uh, today I brought some examples of things that need to be tossed out okay. so we've got a couple <laughs> brushes here absolutely powder. yes what's the deal with powder because sometimes that's a hard one it lasts forever it does and that one you know I have found like some shadows that I love yeah. and then they're limited edition and you just want to keep it forever yes. well with powders they generally last about two years okay that's not too bad yeah yeah and especially if you are putting in brushes into that powder yeah. you really want to make sure that you are washing these brushes at least once a week okay. because they can harbor bacteria which then can lead to like breakouts yeah. and irritation definitely key there especially if you use liquid absolutely and speaking of liquids we have here an example of a dried up liquid liner yeah <laughs> and then we have have your mascara yep. here. If your mascara looks like this, where it's a little bit um, clumpy and dried out, it's time to change it. It's time to change it, yeah. Generally, the rule of thumb is to change your liquids like this every three months. Okay. Um, the reason is is because it does introduce bacteria, and you want to make sure that um, you're not you know, making yourself susceptible yeah, to something. Yeah, you don't want an eye issue. Yeah. <laughs> then you can't wear mascara at all. I know, right? Okay, so <laughs> mascara every three months. Yes. Liquid stuff when it kind of starts to that's probably six months. Um, liquids uh, every two years, two so years, like okay. foundations, primers, oh, right. okay. two years, powders, two years, um, and then your it's just mostly your mascara and your liquid liners. That go faster. Yeah, absolutely. And then you've got your lovely new products these over are, here. These are actually <laughs> That's the best my, part about yeah. spring cleaning your makeup bag. <laughs> right? Um, these are actually my own personal, straight from my personal makeup bag. Very pretty. Um, and I use Bare Minerals, but uh, this is what your makeup should look like. Okay. Nice and clean and new. Um, of course, if they get, you know, in the bag, they can get a little dusty. Yeah. You know, just make sure to wipe them off. Always cleaning them because you just don't want to harbor bacteria yeah, in there. Especially on your face. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, hopefully you learned something today. Give your makeup bag a little once over so you can buy some new stuff. And of course, if you're interested, Elevate Aesthetics is located on 521 Windsor Park in Windsor Park Drive, excuse me, in Centerville. You can get some more makeup tips there. You can also get some lovely skin services done. Just call them there on the number on your screen.